my tutorial for Bella's vampire hair in Breaking Dawn Part 2. So if you want to see how I did the hair, um, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Hey everyone, it's Katie and I'm going to start off this tutorial by brushing out my hair. So if you have naturally curly hair or your hair tends to wave or kink when it's drying, because I didn't use a blow dryer to dry my hair today and I have no products in it, so I'm going to brush out my hair first. And I'm going to be doing that with a paddle brush. This one is the Twilight Limited Edition brush by Pro Beauty. So this is what I'm going to use to brush out my hair just to make sure everything is like not flat, but isn't kinking. Okay, so now that you have your hair brushed out, you might notice that maybe you have frizz. But you might have frizz, so I'm going to just put a little bit of a hair oil in my hair. And this is the one specifically used on Kristen in the movie Breaking Dawn Part 2. And this is by, it's by Enjoy, and it's Professional Hair Care, and it's a shine and smooth. You can use this on your face and your hair. What it's supposed to do is eliminate frizziness, make hair soft and silky without weight, great for hair and skin. Looks, locks in moisture, blocks out humidity. So I'm just going to take a little bit, because I normally take this when my hair is wet, but because I'm filming a tutorial today, I wanted to take just a little bit when my hair is dry. So about that much, which less than a dime. So once you kind of put that through your whole head of hair, you're going to brush that in just a little bit more. And I'm going to tie up about more than half of my head so I have my hair in sections. So now that my hair has been pretty much tied up about halfway, I'm going to take my curling iron or curling wand. Now I'm using a curling wand for this type of hair tutorial because the curls are looser, they're not as defined. So using a wand will make your hair looser but also give it more of that natural wave look. So this is by Numi and it's the 4-in-1 and I have the medium barrel on. There's one barrel larger than this and I decided not to use that because I already have pretty much medium length hair so if I used a larger barrel then the curls would be really, really loose, so you can do that if you have longer hair. And if you have shorter hair, I would recommend going. I would recommend going one size smaller than this wand, because they do come with four wands in a pack. And using that, or you can use this one and have looser waves. So I'm just gonna turn this on and put it on to 200, because I want to be able to curl the hair quicker. And I'm gonna leave this to get hot. So the curling wand has heated up. It took about a minute to heat up to 200. So it will show right here and it will count up to 200 or whatever the heat you choose to use on your hair is. So you know exactly when it's ready to be used. So I'm just going to put that aside for just a second. And I'm going to have section my hair off into two sections. Or you could do three depending on how loose you want the waves. The bigger the section, the looser the waves are going to be. So since you've already brushed through your hair... I'm going to start about here curling and just curl that length down. And these can go towards your face and away your, from your face. And then once I get over here, I just press my fingers on the area where my hair is and I feel for a few seconds how hot my hair is getting. And then once I see that the heat has gone through my hair, then I let the wave drop. So that's what I got and we can comb these out a little bit later if we want to. Now I'm just going to grab that section from the back and do the same thing to it. This time I'm going to curl this way towards and let this drop. And you're going to repeatedly do this to your whole head. On this side I did curl a little bit higher up because I have more baby hairs on this side and I just want to get those away from my face. But if you don't have those, you can always flat iron them, or you can use a serum on your baby hairs to keep them from flying around. So that is the bottom layer of our hair so far, so now that... Now that this layer of hair is done, I'm going to take the Enjoy Professional Hair Care Texture and 
Texture Spray. And this is a multi-dimension wax-based texturizer used to create definitions, separation, volume, and flexibility. So I'm going to just spray these on the hair that we just curled so I can run a brush for them later or a comb for them later. Once that's done, I kind of like to work that into the hair and almost scrunch it in a way just to make sure some of the curls are getting looser, becoming more voluminous almost. So I'm going to let the next layer of hair down from our little ponytail or bun. I know the top of my hair looks a little bit weird right now, so that's because of the sections, but I'm just going to let it be. And what I'm going to do here is just brush down this piece. that just brushing that down looks a lot better so I'm gonna separate this again take my curling wand and put it this way and hold it for a few seconds let that drop so this side is done almost so now I'm going to move on to the next side, brush out the hair that came down. And you might end up grabbing some hair that you've already done. That's okay, because you did apply the texture spray to it. Separate this into two sections. Now I do like to bring the um, barrel a little bit higher up towards the top of my head. It's personal preference because everyone has a different type of hair, whether it be thicker or... Um, thinner. I am going to separate this back section into two sections just because um, that's where my hair gets a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to bring the top layer of hair down now and I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to get that almost no part look. Because this is the last layer of hair, I am going to comb this upwards. Now that we brushed that out, I am going to just put this onto one side for now. And then... So this part is where we want to just curl more towards the end of the hair. I'm going to let that go, move on to another piece of hair. And then move on to the last piece of hair in that section. Which I'm actually going to end up separating into two sections. And letting that piece go. So now we've curled our whole head of hair. And I'm going to finish off by spraying some texture spray on. I realized that the other layer of hair that I curled before this layer, I didn't actually spray with some texturizer so i'm gonna just try to get underneath that side and the back so now that you've sprayed um a hairspray or a texturizer into your hair you're gonna take this piece right here that we just kind of curled and kind of work it back you can use bobby pins to hold it back as well okay so the best thing i can think about to keep the top looking kind of voluminous and keeping the hair where it needs to go is taking like a piece like this and putting a bobby pin through it just so it still looks like it's supposed to be there and not completely pinned back in a way that makes it look pinned back and then doing like the same to another piece of hair that's a little bit too far out and then I have one really tiny like baby bobby pin that's like this size right here and this is gonna be for a baby hair that is like kind of sticking where it shouldn't be so that is Bella's inspired vampire hair. You can brush through this lightly to get the curls a little bit looser. And remember, wearing this throughout the day is going to make the curls fall out a little bit faster. So I'm going to move on to the makeup part of this video, and I'll be back when my makeup's done. Thank you for watching my Bella vampire hair video. If you want to see the makeup video, then that will be linked down below, and I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing, fantastic day.